And I'm very, very sorry that it has come to this because it didn't have to be this way. Um, have you been on the phone to the boss? Not yet, no. This is a fast-moving story. I only found out about this decision uh, earlier this morning uh, and I thought it was very, very important that we make a very public statement because of the fury, the anger and the upset in the Jewish community who have had to put up a lot, uh, 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 with a lot of goings-on in the Labour Party that is unacceptable. And I feel I need to remind uh, my colleagues you know, the Labour Party is being investigated by the Equalities and Human Rights Commission for allegations of institutional anti-Jewish racism. Nobody wants that. It is a stain on our party. And for those two NEC members to not take that into account when they had to recognise the magnitude of the upset caused by Chris Williamson, I think is uh, very, very regrettable. And it was an improper decision. And that's why I've taken the unprecedented step of put in my name to this public document. Uh, they took away the independence of our uh, party route and that's why I agree that the only way we can solve this now to help rebuild trust is for Jeremy to step in and remove the whip from Chris Williamson. Yeah, he could fix this in a heartbeat, couldn't he? I mean, he could fix it in the next hour. Well, he could remove the whip and that would allow, uh, I think, us to reassure the Jewish community that we take anti-Semitism very, very quick, very, very seriously. Uh, and I will be talking to him about it when I, when I get the chance later today. OK. And what if he doesn't? If he doesn't, I think it will take us down a road of our reputation being eroded in this area. Once again, you know, I don't want this century-old institution to be tainted with the stain of anti-Jewish racism and I'm going to do everything I can to call it out, uh, which is why I think Jeremy will step in. He will understand the magnitude of the hurt cause. He will know that he's the only one that can take that decision. He, he can show that leadership and I hope very much we can do that very, very quickly to reassure people that we're actually taking our anti-Semitism problem seriously. And if he doesn't, because we know that, you know, he, there's all sorts of um, challenges that he's faced in the past and he's not always stepped up to the plate when it comes to allegations of anti-Semitism in the party. If he doesn't, uh, are you still content to work with him, Mr Watson? Of course I'm, I've worked with him. We're elected leader and deputy leader. But I'm not content to sit back and let racism uh, stain the reputation of half a million Labour Party members. You know, they are hurting too. They feel the pain and the anger when we fail to deal with racism properly. They're embarrassed that the Jewish community is so affronted by a very small number of our members that we've not been able to deal with properly. And I should say in this case, you know, Chris Williamson obviously caused offence, but he does deserve a proper inquiry. And what this committee did was essentially stop our National Constitutional Committee from doing that inquiry. The only way around that now is to hand that back to the Chief Whip, who normally does investigations into MPs' conduct anyway. Uh, and that requires Jeremy to step in and authorise that. Apparently one of the reasons uh, that they decided um, to uh, bring down this decision is in case there was a snap election and they want to make sure that Labour wins that seat. Uh, I've been speaking to some of your colleagues this afternoon and they're not very impressed with that. Well, I've no idea why they made that decision uh, because it was, in my view, the wrong one. If it was on those grounds, it's obviously uh, the wrong decision. I mean, Chris Williamson could potentially be found guilty of anti-Jewish prejudice. I'm only saying potentially because he deserves an inquiry. Uh, and we wouldn't want to put a candidate up at a general election who has been found guilty of that in inquiry. But the Jewish community expects us to take this seriously, which is why there should be a proper investigation, and which is why reluctantly I'm speaking out publicly now, because these two committee members have let half a million Labour Party members down in, in their decision, and it's just wrong.